weather finally warming up, golf lover, and with the weather finally warming up, golf lovers are itching for a chance to get out and hit the course. But those options, at least this weekend, are still limited in the metro. Adam Dexter is live this morning at Inside Edge in Eden Prairie, as some are scratching that itch with indoor golf. Good morning, Adam. Yeah, good morning, Jennifer. You know, it's a Saturday. The weather's going to be great today. The Masters is on TV. You're thinking, man, it would be awesome to hit the course today. But if you're looking to go outside here in the Twin Cities, the options are still really limited, which is why we're here at Inside Edge in Eden Prairie with Kevin Unterreiner. Kevin, you are with Twin Cities Golf. I mean, this is what folks have been doing for months, but I'm sure people are ready to get outside at this point. Absolutely. November 1st, we were shut in. The first snow got cold, courses closed. So literally for the past almost six months, we've been inside here uh, playing indoor golf and just looking for ways to get out and, and get some swings in without freezing. Well, I'll tell you what, if you got to play indoor golf, I think this is the way to do it. I mean, tell me a little bit about what's going on here this morning. We've got so many folks out here up and early to play. Absolutely. So this is a typical Saturday here at Inside Edge Golf. At 6.30, we get up early. Uh, we come in for what we call Saturday morning skins. What you see here is every week we go and play a different world-class championship course. Everybody throws in a couple bucks for a little side, side games, and then we actually play 18 holes. Uh, what's nice about indoor golf is we can literally – get here, play 18 holes, and, and be out the door in just under two hours. So, it, so we get to play great courses, we got world-class courses, and then it's a chance to keep the swing grooved up uh, all winter. So what's the world-class course we're playing today? Then? So today we are actually at the Augusta of Ireland, it's called Druid's Glen. But in a lot of weeks, we'll play Pebble Beach, we'll play St. Andrews, we'll play TPC Sawgrass. Uh, because we have the About Golf PGA Tour Sims, we're able to play a lot of the same courses that the PGA Tour players are playing that week. Mm. So. And then quickly, I know we've got some kind of golf opportunities uh, outside in Minnesota. You're going to Winona later today, but, but if someone really wants to scratch that itch, where do they got to go right now? So right now, you've got to either get down to Rochester or you have to head down towards Winona or even Austin, Minnesota, if you want to play this weekend. But this week, within another three or four days, you're going to be able to go to Shakopee Stonebrook. You're going to be able to go to Montgomery. And then Emerald Greens and Hastings will probably be open here within the next four or five days. And I know that that is something so many people are waiting for, that moment to finally get outside and play for real. Uh, but a beautiful day today. I'm sure some folks are thinking about making that trip, get back maybe in time for, for the Masters on CBS. How about that? Love it. Absolutely. Jennifer, we'll be back here at 830, but this is the place to be today inside, but a little bit later today at 6 o'clock, we're going to take you outside, uh, try and uh, scratch that itch, so to speak, with the golf fever here. That sounds good. Looking it out there, Adam. Thank you. They're still important, and it's really good to maintain that relationship, but we don't see them very often. They're just, they're just, we know.